everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today I did a video on my current foundation routine. Um, I filmed it from start to finish, basically all of my base makeup. So I didn't include uh, my eyebrows, eye makeup or lips, but everything on my face as a base. Um, my skin is far from flawless. It's quite sensitive and quite pink um, and I have um, quite deep set eyes so I have quite dark under eye circles um, and also you know I'm 25 so I still have hormonal random spots and blemishes and stuff so um, hmm, I uh, just wanted to show you how I get my skin looking um, as flawless as I like it or as much coverage as I like um, but still you can see my skin through I don't think I apply my foundation too heavily um, and I don't believe my makeup looks cakey I don't know what you guys think um, let me know in the comments below and I hope you enjoy the foundation routine if you have any recommendations for other foundations or base products that you think I would like please leave them below and I will see you very soon so now guys I'm applying my moisturiser, this is the Body Shop Vitamin E Cream and then this is my foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in 315 and my favourite MAC Strobe Liquid and I'm just popping this onto the flat top Real Techniques buffing brush. I really work this into my skin, right into my hairline, over all of my eyes um, and I blend this right down in circular motions all the way down my neck um, and over the fronts of my ears and today you can see I'm just applying it over my chest in really light strokes just so that my skin is all uniform, all the skin on show is all uniformly coloured. This is where I spend the most of my time is buffing in my foundation so that I can see my skin showing through but I just have a natural, a natural finish and even tone. You can see how it just takes away some of the darkness around under my eyes and it gets rid of the redness around my nose and cheeks. This is my favourite concealer at the moment. It's a Collection 2000 Concealer in number 2 Light. Um, and I just apply this under my eyes, in the centre of my forehead, on a blemish there, around the corners of my nose which tend to get a bit red. And some blemishes I've got on the sides. I like applying this light concealer in sort of the middle, sort of triangular um, shaped area in between my brows. It just lightens up that area and I think it's flattering highlight. And when I am um, blending my concealer under my eyes, um, I'm just covering a bruise there, I make sure that I pull the concealer in a sort of V shaped triangle to sort of flatten that area out because my eyes are quite sunken. And I use the Real Techniques buffing brush there. Now I'm moving on to my powder. This is the Makeup Forever HD powder. This lasts forever. And I'm using a large powder brush from Real Techniques. I just do pop some into the lid. And I swirl my big powder brush into the lid. And then I lightly push this into my skin. I'm not swiping it in any way because I don't want to move the foundation that I'm trying to set. So I just use light patting motions. I go all over my skin, all over my eyes and my cheeks. Now I'm contouring with the little Real Techniques contour brush and my MAC, uh, what is it called? Powder blush. And this is in the colour Harmony. So I'm just sucking it in my cheeks, doing the fish face. And I sort of blend it from the top of my ear down towards my mouth. I try not to go in a too straight a line, I try and make it curved. And here I'm just shadowing my forehead as it's quite large. I pop the bronzer in my temples and the corners of my forehead. Now I apply my favourite blush, it is the Max X Rocks blush. And I'm using a Real Techniques blusher brush here. This is my favourite highlight. It's Max Pearl Cream Colour Base. And I just pop that on my middle finger and I apply it over the tops of my cheekbones. Careful not to get it too close to your eyes put it under my brow bone, in between the tops of my eyebrows, on the bridge of my nose and also whatever's left on my cupid's bow. 
Now I'm going to finish with a setting spray. This is my favourite setting spray at the moment, it is Urban Decay's D Slick. And there we have it. Thank you so much for watching my foundation, guys. I hope you liked it. And I will see you soon in another video. Bye bye.